The union cabinet has approved setting up three semiconductor making units worth 1.26 lakh crore rupees, and the construction will begin within the next 100 days. Indian Air Force's C-295 aircraft has arrived at INS Tega on its maiden visit, to fortify Indra services bonds. After docking for four days at Maldives port, China's research vessel has resumed its survey operations just outside the exclusive economic zones of India, Sri Lanka and Maldives. Indian Ministry of Defence is looking to procure 1,054 light vehicles for Indian Army, and 54 for the Air Force. The DRDO conducted two successful flight tests of very short-range air defense system from a ground-based portable launcher, and it destroyed all high-speed unmanned aerial targets under different interception scenarios. Suryadip 2 Projects Private Limited has launched the fourth ammunition cum torpedo cum missile barge for the Indian Navy. L&T Shipyard held the key laying ceremony of the first cadet training ship for the Indian Navy. The Indian Navy will commission its new base in the Luxadweep Islands next week, that will be upgraded to operate fighter jets. Prime Minister Modi and his Mauritian counterpart inaugurated an airstrip and a jetty in Agaliga Islands in Mauritius, that will facilitate operation of India's fleet of P-8 anti-submarine aircraft. The Defence Ministry has signed five major capital acquisition contracts worth 39,125 crore rupees today, that includes procurement of RD-33 aero engines from Hindustan Aeronautics for MiG-29 fighter jets, procurement of close-in weapon systems and high-power radars from Lawson and Tubro, and procurement of BrahMos missiles for combat outfit and training requirements of Indian Navy, and BrahMos extended range naval variant for frontline ships. The RD-33 engines will be manufactured by HAL under transfer of technology license from Russia, and the program will focus on indigenization of several high-value critical components. After the delay of German MTU engines for India's light tank program and Arjun Mark 1A tanks, Germany's Deputy Foreign Minister has announced that the German government is planning to reform its export control rules that will streamline the process for India to purchase weapons from German companies. He also promised to streamline export processes for selected defence projects to push Germany's recognition of India as a key strategic partner in the Indo-Pacific region, and this comes at a time when Germany is eyeing Indian Navy's Project 75i submarines deal worth 43,500 crore rupees. Ottoman Aerospace has unveiled its Vazra Next Generation Tactical Multi-Role Airborne Loitering UAV at the recently concluded Maharashtra MSME Defence Expo. It is designed to be a launched from mother UAVs, and is powered by a micro-turbojet engine, and is equipped with an integrated infrared camera, that will enable enhanced situational awareness and target identification during low-light or night-time operations. During the recent visit of Greek Prime Minister to India, both sides discussed the proposal to acquire recently decommissioned Greek Mirage 2000 fighter jets for Indian Air Force, which will be used for sustaining the existing Mirage 2000 fleet until its planned retirement in 2035. Latest reports indicate that Greece has offered 18 aircraft at a highly attractive price, and an Indian Air Force team will soon inspect the stored aircraft. Today's top 3 comments.